Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. I've got a fun little video for you today. We're gonna play a game called Thrift or Pass and I also have a DIY uh, towards the end that I'm gonna share with you. So stay tuned and without further ado, let's get into the thrifting. If you're new here, my name is Anne and I live in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. I love thrifting and I like taking you guys with me. It's been so fun to start this channel and thank you again for all of your support over the last few months. So this uh, little trinket box was kind of cool. I considered getting it. I think I put it in the cart for a while, but I ended up putting it back just because I thought $8 was just a little bit more than I wanted to pay for it. Next up we have this little brass round box that I found and I thought it was really pretty and it's a nice design and it was only five dollars so I decided to get that and that you will find a link for in the description box that's already in the shop. So this isn't one of our thrift or pass items for today, but I'm curious um, if you would have thrifted these little frog statues. So they were $3, which was like, that's pretty affordable. Um, but for whatever reason, I put them in my cart for a while and then I decided not to get them. But what do you guys think? Should I have thrifted these and did I miss out? Let me know in the comments what you think. This little Lanny McDonald bobblehead was <laughs> really hilarious. So if you don't know, we really like hockey in Canada and our local team is uh, the Flames. Let me know where you guys are from. Um, be, I'd be very curious to know where you're watching the video from, uh, what the thrifting is like, where you live. Um, and yeah, just fill me in, leave me a comment. So we're coming up on our first thrift or pass item. So let me know, would you have left this, whatever this is, <laughs> would you have thrifted it or would you have left it? So leave me a comment, thrift or pass. I, I contemplated it for a while. I think I had it ride around in the cart with me. Um, you know, those unique kind of weird items seem to sell well on Etsy. So I considered it, but then I was like, ah, it's $8. So I, I decided to leave it behind. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys would have done. Kind of looking for a toothbrush holder that I can repurpose into a vase kind of flower frog style vase as I've seen other people do that and it looks really cool so I'm kind of on the lookout for one that I that I like that I can repurpose
So we are on Instagram at bluehousevintage.yyc. So if you're on Instagram as well, um, if you could head on over there and give us a follow, that would be awesome. We're trying to increase our following there as well. And uh, yeah, just come, come check us out. Sometimes I post little reels or posts of like upcoming items that are gonna be for sale. So go on and check it out. I thought this vase was really cool, but um, too, too much money for me to invest in it. I think it was listed for $15. So I thought it was just a little bit too much, but I thought it was cool. a little bit less talking in this uh, video same as last week's video because I'm still recovering from being sick and um, yeah anyway it's a new style of video let me know what um, you guys think of it and also I'd like to have your opinion on the music that I'm using um, would you want me to switch things up a bit so give me your comments and feedback I'm still new obviously at um, making YouTube videos. So I do welcome feedback and I do take it uh, into consideration for future videos. So please let me know your thoughts and that would be very helpful as I am still learning. So uh, we ended up finding two matching lamps that were brand new. They were originally from HomeSense, um, which in Canada, that's the home goods equivalent. Um, they were listed for $50 uh, from HomeSense and we got each of them for $20, which it's still, you know, a fairly pricey item for thrifting, but considering um, how cute the lamps were and the fact that we actually needed lamps, we decided to get them. And this item here, so this is one of my favorite finds from the thrift trip. It's a mid-century uh, wall hanging uh, planter box. So you can put it up, for example, like in your entryway and pop a plant in there. And it's just kind of a really neat, kind of brutalist mid-century piece. And it was originally tagged for $25, but yellow tags were on 50% off. So we got it for $12.50, so really good deal. This item here was like this really weird handmade candle holder and I ended up reshelving it because it was just too out there, but um, kind of a, a neat item. And then this little guy here, you'll see, um, I'm gearing up to do a DIY on this piece and that's coming up towards the end of the video. was contemplating this for a long time <laughs> but I'm glad I, I'm glad I got it and I'm excited to show you what I did with it and now we're gonna gear up to do our second uh, thrift or pass so let me know in the comments what you guys would have done with this item would you have thrifted it or left it behind so we have a brass planter really good size I contemplated it for a while I had it in the cart with me um, it's one of those ones with the kind of rope um, design and that was really kind of what I guess threw me off of it. Um, but anyway, would you guys have picked it up or would you have left it behind? It had a little bit of rust um, on it as well, so I just, I wasn't, I wasn't sure about it. But um, yeah, so I decided to leave that one for the next person, but 
let me know in the comments what you guys would have done. That's it for the thrift shopping. I think at this point my battery died on my phone. Um, but uh, anyway, let's go home and I'll show you the haul. Okay, so this is what I ended up spending on this thrift trip. And uh, most of this is the lamps. Um, so each of those were $20. So I spent, um, if you subtract that, I spent $25 on this thrift haul. Um, that includes the um, book that I got, which I'll put a clip in because it's already sold, so I don't have it here to show you, but that was um, The Wind in the Willow, so I'll insert a, a clip to show you that. And um, this brass box was $5, and I just thought it was pretty, really nice uh, bird design. And I'll show you what I'm going to end up doing with this in uh, one of the following clips. But um, it's a meant to be a candle stick holder. And actually it still has, I think it has some wax still still on it. So I'm going to have to just give it another good, another good clean. But I'm going to show you what I intend on doing with this one. And my favorite thing that I found, other than that Wind in the Willows book, that was definitely my favorite find, um, was this item here. So it was 20, it was listed for $25, but it was a yellow tag, which was 50% off. So this was $12.50. It took me a while to figure out what um, kind of it was, but it turns out it's a mid-century uh, style um, hanging wall uh, bas plant basket. So I will show you guys in a clip um, coming up of what this is kind of meant for, and uh, this will be available on uh, my shop. And that's it for the items that I got, so stay tuned to see how I use them. So here it is, the uh, 1980 edition of The Wind in the Willows, and this was just a stunning uh, book. I was just so excited to, to get this, and it sold right away from the shop. So here's a quick example of kind of what you might be able to do with this item 
and this will be linked in the description box of the video below if you're interested in checking it out on the shop. So I'd also like to show you this um, piece of art that I recently got at a thrift trip to Wins, and it was six bucks and it was done in 1977 and signed by the artist and I thought it was really cool. So I decided to uh, pick it up. Let me know what you guys think of this um, in the comments. This is something you would have picked up. And uh, yeah, let me know what you think of it. And here's the final haul, including the little match holder that I made. So that was a super fun and easy project. I didn't have to spend a cent on it. And now let's go into what sold recently in the shop. So first thing was the uh, wooden candlestick holder. So this was featured in like a video of a long time ago, I think. So that went from the shop uh, for $34 on Etsy. And the Gibson nesting bowls um, sold as well for $26. I can't remember off the top of my head how much um, I paid for these bowls, but, um, but yeah, anyway, I was glad to see them go to their next home. I, I really, really loved them. They, uh, they were kind of special. And then the bird embroidery art um, went as well. Also loved this. Um, I had it displayed on my bookshelf while I was waiting for it to sell. And um, yeah, it sold on Etsy for $45. And I believe I paid three to five dollars for that. That was a really, really good find. Um, from Goodwill. So I kind of miss seeing that one around. And um, the little ice cream maker uh, sold. So very um, happy about that. Um, that one also went on Etsy for $30. And so yeah, I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes peeled for more of those ice cream makers. I do have one more to sell. So stay tuned uh, for that one should be hitting the shop um, in the next week or so. And the brass towel holder uh, sold for $38. Um, this was another uh, really fun Goodwill find. And uh, that was only on the shop for, I think I had it up for like maybe two days and it went. So um, if you're out thrifting, keep, keep those in mind because it seems like they are popular and a hot commodity. And the brass uh, etched vase also sold uh, for $32. I think I paid I think I paid $8 for this, if memory serves, six to $8. Um, also a, a Goodwill find. And that is actually um, off to the Netherlands. So that's kind of cool when people buy um, internationally. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Like the video, leave us a comment. It helps us tremendously. And we will see you in the next video.